guys welcome back to my channel trending with angela please subscribe like comment and share my videos do not forget to turn on your post notifications to know when i post a new video okay guys is reunion season is reunion season <laughs> big brother nigeria reunion episode two guys this episode just started with um nengi dorati and um um ozo's love triangle you know uh, Big Brother still showing us when Dorothy was picked, when Dor uh, also picked Dorothy as his he deputy HOH, when um, Dorothy was advising also telling him that Nengi was not being sincere with him. So Ebka asked the, uh, also how did he find himself inside this, <laughs> this triangle of a thing. Also said he got into the house, he met Dorothy first, that they clicked. They became friends, they slept on the same bed, you know. From there, they became very, very close friends. Epikana asked him, why do you take your issues with Nengi to Dorothy? He said he felt like he has a friend in the house that can help him, you know, give him advice and talk him through things. Epikana answered the question at Katrina, how do you, what do you think about Dorothy and Nengi and Ozo's situation? Katrina said she felt Dorothy had something for Ozo and because they were always together this that blah 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 she also said that she felt nengi was acting yeah so katrina was the one that explained this situation very well for me she said ozo liked dorothy's personality but he didn't like her body but he in other the other side he likes nengi's body so ozo really wanted dorothy's personality in nengi's body full stop See guys, at this point, nobody asked Watoni anything, but she just decided to air her own opinion. Ebuka didn't ask her anything. She just said, um, she felt, she said she felt Ozo had feelings for Nengi, not Dor Dorothy. And she also felt that Dorothy has feelings for, had feelings for Ozo because she was always talking about Ozo, this, that, blah, blah, blah. She was always looking out for him, you know, doing things for him. Nengi also said she felt Dorothy liked Ozo. So when all these people were all talking, Dorothy was just making moves, you know. I was like, hey, baby girl is about to blow hot hot. <laughs> so finally, Ebuka asked Dorothy, how did you find yourself in this love triangle? Dorothy was like, it's fine how everybody thought she had feelings for Ozo, but truth be told, Ozo, he said, she said Dorat, um, she doesn't have feelings for Ozo, that it was Prince that she really liked in the house, that she took Ozo as a friend. So at this point, when Dorati was talking, Watoni wanted to talk, and Dorati said, shut the fuck up, I am not talking to you, and I'm talking to Ebuka, you're opening your stupid mouth. Hey. <laughs> at this point, I was like, baby girl, be coming down, be coming down. See guys, I think Dorothy and uh, Watoni has an underlying issue. I think they have something to tell us. But let's just keep our fingers crossed. Though I am thinking it's Brighto. I am thinking it's about Brighto. Yeah, but let's just keep our fingers crossed. So Dorothy went on to tell us that she does. She's not talking uh, uh, to uh, Ozo at the moment. It was like, are you serious? She said yes, that she doesn't talk to Ozo at the moment. Because she doesn't know why. Uh, I w you come to me with a problem i tell you things you have to do you went back to tell the person what i said that she doesn't th think that's how friendship works so where while she was talking watoni wanted to say something again she was like watoni shut the fuck up if you talk again in this room i am going to stand up and walk out hey <laughs> She also told Watoni to stop interfering her, in her business that she's not the cause of her problem. So Watoni said something. See guys, I am not very sure. Watoni said something. She was like, is that why you gave... Um, I didn't hear what she said, but some people, hey, my yard people, a lot of people are saying that Watoni said that Dora gave uh, Brito a BJ in the house. <gasps> I don't know how true that is, so, but <laughs> if this is true, <laughs> anyway, she baby girl has to live her life, okay? <laughs> so, guys, Nengi went on to say that she's been blaming Ozo for all these things that he shouldn't have led um Dora on, that uh, she he he should have sorry he shouldn't have led Dora on, that he shouldn't have been telling Dorothy the problems he has with her, or you know, coming back to tell her what Dorothy has said to him. So, so the person that opened Ozo Snatch this night was Katrina. Katrina said that she had during, um, after Ozo was evicted in the house, when they were preparing for the white party, that um, Ozo came to her room complaining how her, his friends, 
fans and family were disappointed in him about how he was following uh, Katrina. Sorry, Nengi up and down. I'm sorry for mixing their names, but I shall know you people know who I'm talking about. So, Oza was then complaining to Katrina that she, he wants to revenge. So, Katrina was not like, Oga, what's your plan? He said he wants to ignore her during the white party. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> So why Kat why Katrina was still talking? I was always like, I didn't say that. I didn't come to your room. This that blah blah. They were just going uh, back and forth. Katrina was like, also you don't love any of these ladies. You don't love Dora. You don't love um, Nengi. You were just playing games. Also was like, I didn't come to your room. I didn't say something like this to you. I didn't do this. I didn't do that. At this point, huh, it was very obvious that Ozo was lying. Like. This guy was like, he was just trying to defend himself by all means. And Katrina shouted, I give up. Like, baby girl was already tired. Because she was saying the truth. Ozo was literally lying. Yes. So, our praise now said, Ozo, I don't know if you are trying to lie or you are trying to act like you forgot. But I saw you in Katrina's room that night. And White Praise was saying that Ozo was also saying he didn't go to Katrina. You know, they were just arguing. Um, uh, Nengi was just sitting pretty, minding her business. She was not even looking at them like... <laughs> so guys, when they were arguing front, back, up and down, they went for a commercial. So after the commercial, they came back and they entered Prince and Nengi Mata. Hmm. They started showing us when, v, they, when they were doing this uh, Truth or Dare game. V now asked Prince to pick a lady in the house and show them his best sex position. <laughs> um, Prince now chose Nengi. So, Ebuka now asked Prince. He asked Prince what he has to say about the situation. Prince said that he really, really liked Nengi, but he came into Nengi's life, but Nengi was not giving him the vibe that she, he wanted. That Nengi said that he that he told Nengi that he liked her. Nengi also said he liked him. But he started he started withdrawing himself when uh, he noticed that Nengi was all over the guys in the house. But that was a lie. I, I I I know that Nengi turned him down. Nengi turned him down. Nengi told him that she can't date him. That she has someone outside the house. So Ebukana asked Nengi, at what point do you know that? Uh, did you notice or do you feel? Did you notice that? Uh, also was not the man for you. Nengi now said that the day she had issue with someone, I think it was Lucy or Kaisha, that Ozo didn't even come to ask her how she felt or maybe what happened or something like that. Ebuka also asked Prince at what point did he start withdrawing himself and Prince said it was when he heard that Nengi and Ozo showered together that he couldn't take that. Ebuka was also asking Nengi, why did you create a triangle? Nengi said she never created a triangle because she told everybody that came to her, both Prince and uh, Ozo, that she had a situation outside the house. And that's just the truth. She was saying it. She said it countless number of times. She had a situation outside the house. So you don't need to blame the baby girl. So, of course, Ebuka asked Kid Waya, the man kid, the flipping Kid Waya. <laughs> He asked him what he thinks about how um, Nengi handled both uh, Ozo and uh, Prince. Kid, Kid said he thinks that Nengi is just a playful person, that she was not leading anybody on. She was just, you know, being herself around the people she called her friends. So guys, that was where this episode ended. And I have to tell you people who my best dress is. <laughs> Guys, Nengi was looking so, so, so peng. That's why she, they call her Pengi Nengi. I'll be Nengi Pengi. I don't know how her fans call, <laughs> pronounce that name. Pengi Nengi or Nengi Pengi. The girl was just looking so, so fine. I like her dress. Um, I liked uh, Watoni's dress too. But I've not seen the full outfit, but I liked her dress but in the terms of male in, in the in the terms of male i liked uh prince dress yes please guys do not forget to subscribe like comment and share my videos thank you bye